What if Nova Scotia could power up to 27% of Canada's electricity needs? Stop and think about that. That would make Nova Scotia an energy superpower. Sounds like a stretch, right? Well, it's not. Right now, Nova Scotia is on the edge of a clean energy breakthrough, and we're already in the process of licensing five gigawatts of offshore wind energy. For context, our entire province only uses about 2.4 gigawatts at peak demand. This five gigawatts in and of itself is massive. It's twice what we use today. But the real story, our offshore wind zones could generate up to 66 gigawatts. Not two, not four, not five, 66. And with steady winds that blow about 60% of the time, Nova Scotia can produce a reliable 40 gigawatts. So here's the next question. Why produce that reliable 40 gigawatts when you only need two? Unless you can export the rest. Well, you can't export clean power without a way to move it. We need a cable, ideally along a national energy corridor, to deliver that wind energy westward across Canada. We call it Wind West and Nova Scotia's Wind West project can produce enough energy that is the equivalent of powering up to 27% of the country's needs. This energy is very valuable. New England has massive extra energy needs and they're certainly not alone. I support the Prime Minister's vision of making Canada an energy superpower. That's why I fully support projects like Energy East that are important for the West and our entire country, but Nova Scotia has a lot to contribute to making Canada an energy superpower. Canada would be even stronger with Energy East and Wind West. We've been handed a golden ticket. With global uncertainty rising, with growing pressure for us to do our part, and with Nova Scotia ranked 60th out of 60 in GDP per capita in North America, we cannot afford to let this moment pass us by. Of course, there are questions. Big projects always raise questions, but we are committed to working with Nova Scotians to ensure this project will benefit everyone. Industry is desperate for clean, reliable energy. WinWest could fuel battery plants, AI data centers, industries of the future, and it would transform our economy here in Nova Scotia. For our workers, for our families, it would be a game changer. My government's ready to invest. Private capital's ready to invest but it will take the political will of the federal government to step up with funding too. We're at the table, we have our sleeves rolled up, we're ready to paint a new self-reliant and prosperous picture for the future of Nova Scotia and Canada. So, what are we waiting for? Let's make it happen, right now, with Wind West.